The circular flow of income. Gross domestic product, or GDP, is the commonest measure of an economy's national income and includes the output of all goods and services produced over a period of time, usually one year. Income in an economy circulates between its two key sectors, households and firms. Let's see how. Households supply factors of production to firms, including labour, capital, land and enterprise. In return, they receive factor incomes, wages, interest, rent and profits. This income is converted into expenditure to buy goods and services from firms. Consumer demand is met by firms as they produce an output of goods and services. The firms receive an income in the form of revenue. With this income, firms pay for the factors they use. Hence the circular flow of income and spending between households and firms is complete. Or is it? Well, households are likely to save some of their income, which is a leakage out of the circular flow and makes the economy smaller. Taxes paid to the government are also a leakage along with spending on imports from abroad. These leakages leave the circular flow through three sectors, deposits into the financial sector, tax payments to the government, and payments going abroad. While these leakages make the economy smaller, injections into the circular flow make the economy bigger. Let's see how. As firms produce, machinery wears out or better technology becomes available. Firms may borrow to spend on these capital goods, creating investment, which is an injection into the circular flow. Government spending on merit goods and public goods is a further injection, along with overseas spending on a country's exports. The whole economy is a stable equilibrium when leakages are balanced by injections. Leakages reduce the size of a national income while injections increase it. It is only necessary for all injections to equal all leakages, not for the pairs to equal each other. For example, saving does not need to equal investment. Are there any other uses of the circular flow diagram? Yes. Understanding how economic policy works, Injections and leakages can be influenced by monetary and fiscal policy, along with exchange rate manipulation. For example, lower interest rates reduce saving and increase borrowing and stimulate economic activity. Lower exchange rates stimulate export sales and put a break on imports, because lower exchange rates will make overseas goods more expensive. Understanding the circular flow is the starting point to understand the workings of the macroeconomy. National Income Equilibrium The Cross Diagram Injections into the flow of income in an economy include investments by firms, government spending on public and merit goods, and demand for an economy's exports. Because injections are not determined by the current GDP, the injections line is horizontal. Leakages include household savings, taxation, and import spending. These are dependent on current GDP, hence the line is upward sloping. Equilibrium exists when injections equal leakages at A and Y at $600 billion. Economic growth. Growth occurs when either injections increase or leakages decrease. Economic growth occurs when there are sustained increases in real GDP. This usually means at least two consecutive increases in GDP growth. Injection-led growth can follow an increase in corporate investment or government spending or through an increase in exports. Growth can also occur as a result of a fall in savings, in tax levels and in the value of import spending. Recession Recession occurs when either consumption or injections decrease or leakages increase. Recession occurs when there are sustained decreases in real GDP. This usually means at least two consecutive reductions in GDP. Recession can follow a reduction in corporate investment or government spending or through a fall in export sales. Recession can also occur as a result of a rise in savings, higher tax levels or an increase in import spending.